Yeah. Morning all. So before I start, can one please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Today I'm going with Python technicals, right? Python data types and variables. Data types and variables. Every organization use case has got data and operations, data and operations, data represented using data represented using data types and variables. Data represented using data types and variables. Operations represented operations represented using the functions. Operations represented using functions. <clears throat> okay. Take example of any organization. Example like a bank. A bank has got data, customer data, customer name, account number, address, balance, branch, right? And operations. Operations, deposit operation, withdraw operation. Okay. As of now, data represented using data types and variables, operations represented using operations like withdraw operation, transfer operation, deposit operations, right? Yes. We compare. C or C++ or Java compared with the Python. Python supports dynamic data types. Python supports dynamic data types dynamic data types what do you mean by dynamic data types sir Python supports dynamic in other programming language like x whenever you want to define some variables, x equal to 10. Compulsory, we provide the data type like index. y equal to 4.5 means something like float y. z equal to like some value, hello, string z. So index, float y, and string z. Dynamic data types, okay. But in the case of Python, dynamic data types, no need to define these data types. Like directly, we can say x as 10. Directly, we can say y as 4.5. Directly, we can say z has hello. In Python, no need to define the data type. But here, what kind of variable x is means based on this data type defining, we are saying it as what kind of variable y is means based on the data type defining, we are saying it as float. But in Python, what kind of variable x is means? What value you are assigning to it? What value you are assigning to it based on the value assigned? <clears throat> based on the value assigned, the variable is going to get created dynamically. Here there is a function given by Python type. Type of x is integer. Why it is integer? Because you have assigned an integer value. Uh, now you are assigning a float value. Type of y is what type? Float. Why it is float? Because you have assigned a float value. 
type of z type of z is what type string mm -hmm. why because you have assigned a string based upon what value you are assigning the variables are created dynamically during runtime so what value you are assigning integer value means integer integer variable is going to get created float value for assigning float variable is going to get created dynamically and string values string what type of set will be string type just one second Now, to make you understand much better about this data types, right? I'm going to discuss four cases now. You need to clearly understand that. Whenever you define some variable in Python like x equal to 10, what happens internally, you need to clearly know. an object with value 10 is going to be created. Whenever you say x equal to 10, then object with value 10 is going to be created. An object with value 10 is going to be created. It is going to have some address. That address is given to x. Now, whenever I say print, so what X is storing, what X is storing here, everyone try to respond. What X is storing means, don't say X is storing 10, X stores this address. Whenever I say print X, whenever I say print X, it goes to this address and print whatever, <laughs> presented, whatever presented that address. Print X. prints the content at that address prints the content at that address what is the content at that address 10 10 if you want to print the address id there is a function called id of x prints the address of x prints the address of x what is the address of x one zero three zero seven seven zero type of x type of x is what prints the data type of x integers integer right so to print the content to print the address to print the data type of a variable so this this id is a function type is one function print is a function that this case one now observe this case two now <clears throat> so from here onwards i want the sessions to be interactive everyone try to unmute yourself and try to give your responses whether your response is correct or wrong not a problem or even you can give response through short panel case two x value is 10 y is 20 how many objects are created for this? Two How many objects? How many? Two objects. Yes, two objects are going to be created. For 10, one object with value 10 with some address. That address is given to x. For y equal to 20, one more object is going to be created with, with some different address. That address is given to y. That's fine. <coughs> Print x, what is x value? <clears throat> x 
Then, yeah. Then. Then. Yes. Then. It goes to this address and prints the content, whatever present at that address. Print ID of X. One zero three zero seven zero. One zero three zero seven zero. Print. ID of X. Type of X is what type? Integer. Integer. Type. Print Y. Twenty. Mm. Twenty. Address of Y, where exactly it is stored in the memory, and what is it? One zero four zero zero. Type of Y. Integer. Means what value are assigning to this integer? So it is integer time. That is case two. Two different variables x and y with two different values ten and twenty, then two different objects with two different addresses. <coughs> Now case three. X value ten, Y value ten. How many objects are getting created here? Yes, everyone. How many objects are created two here? Two objects with one address. Two objects. Understand carefully here. Only one object is going to get created here. Only one object is created here. Uh, before creating object for Y, before creating object for Y, right? Before creating object for Y, it checks any object with value 10 if it is already available. Any object with value 10, if it is already available, the same address will be given to this. X equal to 10, Y equal to 10, Z equal to 10. Don't think like three objects with value 10, 10, 10 will be created. No, only one object before creating Y equal to 10 checks in the memory if any object with this already available. If already available, the address will be given to X, Y and Z. But if x value is 10, y value is 20, z value is 30, how many objects in that case? Three objects. Three objects. If values are 10, 10, 10, only one object. Means what is your observation here? If the values are same, only one object. One address is created. Only one address. If values are different, multiple objects. Now I can say x, y, and z, they are sharing the same content and the address. They are sharing the same content and the address. Print x. Print y equal to print z equal to 10. Address of x. Address of y. Address offset. They are going to have the same address one zero three zero seven. And type of x, type of y, type of z is also integer type. Integer. This case three, but in case four. Case four. Here, no x and y. Here, x value 10, x value 20. For 10, one object will be created. For 20, another object will be created. It is going to have some address. The address given to x. This one, one. This address is here. Hmm. 
whenever I say print x, what is the x value it is going to print? Let's try to respond. If I say print x, what is the x value it is going to print? Yeah, latest one. The mm. always it prints the latest value at twenty, mm -hmm. and even the address also. One zero four zero eight zero. Is there any is there any case sir, where we can print the value of the previous object? What happens to the previous object means whenever you modify the text value from ten to twenty, immediately the previous object is going to get removed. X can store only one value. X can store only one address. Okay, fine. Understood these four cases, everyone. Any queries in this? Hello. Case one, mm. printing the content, printing the address, printing the type. In case two, two different variables, two different values, two different objects, two different addresses. Case three, x, y, z, x value 10, y value 10, z value, only one object, one address. <clears throat> x equal to 10, x equal to 20. Okay. Now coming back to this data types. Data types mainly are of two types. Data types mainly are of two types. Fundamental data types and collection data types. Fundamental data types and the collection data types. What is fundamental in a simple way? I say fundamental data type means object to holding single value. Object to holding Collection data type means collection of values, group of values, set of values, right? Object holding single value, object holding group of values. One object is created with value 10 with some address. The address given to x. Here object holding single value. Object to holding single value. Here object holding group of values means x equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Here also one object is created. Here 
here object holding group of values object to holding multiple values or group of values are set object holding multiple values Now observe here fundamental data types. Fundamental data types. Mainly are of five types. Integer, float, String. Integer, float, boolean, string, complex. Integer means like uh, age 25. Float. Right. Like height 6.4. Boolean means which returns Boolean values. Zero. Boolean. zero or one. Zero indicates false, one indicates true. So true or false. Here in Python is case sense to uppercase, lowercase are taken differently. Whenever you say true, T should be in uppercase. Whenever you say false, F should be in uppercase. String means sequence collection of characters like city equal to Hyderabad, sequence collection of characters. Complex, general mathematics, how to re represent a complex number, x plus i, y, or a plus i, b. x plus i, y, right? But in Python, instead of that, this i, we use the symbol j. So these are the fundamental data types, mainly are of five types. Collection data types are four types. Collection data types are four types. <laughs> Collections are collection data types are four types. Thank you. List, double, set, dictionary. dictionary. List represented using square. It's very simple representations in Python, right? List by using square bracket, double by using normal bracket, set, set by using curly bracket. Dictionary also like curly bracket, but key and value format. <laughs> List, tuple, set, and dictionary. <clears throat> List of values, tuple of, by seeing this, uh, Braces only you should identify what type of collection they are like list of values, tuple of values, set of values, dictionary of key and value, right? Yes. So we have got a lot of discussion on the list. 
list properties, list indexing, list slicing, list functions, list methods, nested list, list modifications, similarly for tuples, similarly for sets and dictionaries. Nearly for one week, we will be discussing about this. Okay, in the case of uh, fundamental type, we have got a lot of discussion on string, string indexing, string slicing, string methods, string functions. Okay, fine. Now, string, uh, I'll be discussing about string. String. Uh, a string is a sequence. A string is a sequence collection of sequence collection of characters. A string is a sequence collection of characters. In Python, a string is represented in Python. In Python, a string is represented using single quote. Using double quote. Using triple quote. Single quote, double quote, and triple quote. Example City equal to Hyderabad within double quotes. I'm using Hyderabad or sing. So when to go for single quote or double quote means for a single word or a sentence, right? Can represent using singular double triple quote means for a paragraph multiple lines are for paragraph go for triple quote each character of a string each character of a string Each character of a string is represented or accessed each character of a string is represented or accessed by a unique index. List supports two types of indexes. Sorry, string lines. String supports two types. String supports two types of indexes. First one, positive index or forward index. Index starts from left to right. Pass to index or forward index. Index starts from left to right. Negative index. Negative index or backward index. See here, the index starts from left to right, index starts with zero. Negative index or backward index. Negative index or backward index.
index starts with minus 1. So understand about this forward and backward index. Just observe this example. Right. x equal to python p y t h o n p y t h o n it is going to have some address the address given to x zero one two three four five this pass to index pass to index or forward index Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. Negative index or backward index. What is the value of x of 2 here? Everyone try to answer. x of 2 is 1. As a second index, what character is there? Y. T, right? X of uh, minus 2. Oh. oh All right. Oh. oh. That is this way you can. This is single line comment in Python. This single line comment in Python, right? Please be in me. Single line comment in Python. If you want to comment all these multiple lines. Multi line comments in this way. Multi lines, multi line comments. I just doesn't want to execute just for your understanding. X equal to Python. X equal to P Y T H O N. x equal to python print x so type of x print x means print python as it is type of x is what type string str type type of x is what type str type i'm saving this in a separate str we created a separate folder for this python hmm. str1 dot py Print x python type of x, right? Similarly, y equal to programming. Print x plus y. This we call it like concatenation. Concatenation, nothing but adding the two strings. Adding the two yes. strings. First string followed by second string. First string followed by second string. Concatenation adding two string, first string followed by second string.
python plus programming python program run it run run module right okay so i want space between python and programming add three strings x is one string space is one and between these two between x and y one blank string i'm adding Python programming. We know it right, huge coding here. We have got many different methods functions available here, right? String methods. String methods. So one by one method. First one upper to print in upper case. To print in upper case. X equal to Hyderabad. Print X dot upper. X dot upper. Check it once. Save it with some name dot py. Uh, to print in upper case. I'm keeping this in comment. So by understanding. X dot upper to print in upper case. Run, run module. Lower to print in lower case to print in lower case whether you've got a word or a line or a sentence right to print in lower case x equal to Mumbai print x dot lower x dot lower printing everything in the lower case run run module everything Mumbai it was in upper converted to lower next time See, observe this third one, right? X equal to India, everything in the lower case. But I want only the first character, I only in the upper case. Only the first character, I only in the upper case. Remaining all in the lower cases. What I can do? Print X dot. There's a method called capitalize. For capitalizing the first character only. Capitalizing only the first character. For capitalizing the first character of a string. For capitalizing the first character of a string. For example, I got one more method. Now observe x equal to good morning Hyderabad. A string I have taken. In this, how many words are there? How many words? Three, Three words. Each and every word, first character I want in uppercase. So morning M should be in upper. Hyderabad X should be in upper. X dot, there is a method called title. You can see each and every word first character in the uppercase. Understand here, each and every word, first character, good, 
G in uppercase, morning M in uppercase, Hyderabad H in uppercase. So what is that? Title, T-I-T-L-E. For capitalizing. For capitalizing the first okay. character. Mm -hmm. Each word. Mm -hmm. Capitalizing the first character of each word in a string. Where exactly this title can be in? Where can this title be helpful? Means EMPS. I'm taking this example. Employees, employees details are given like this. Ajay. Rohit, Amar, Blake, Ramesh, Ram, Anil, Ajit. In this way, some hundreds of names are there. Each and every employee name. Each and every employee name, first character I want in the uppercase. Print EMP dot title. EMP dot title, right? Yes. EMP dot title. So each and every employee name, first character in the uppercase you get. Check it. Run, run module. Each and every employee name, first character in the uppercase. Next, there's a method called replace. For replacing a portion of a string. Okay. Replacing a portion of a string. X equal to, I'm saying like Java is easy. Print X dot replace. Print uh, X is the string from that uh, replace the word Java with okay. run run model. Now you got Python is easy. For example, Java is easy and Java is simple. It replaces each and every occurrence of Java with the Python, right? Each and every occurrence of Java with Python. Mm. Python is easy and right. In this way, we have got a lot of methods. Not only this, we have got many other methods. See here, upper, lower, capitalized, title, swap case, replace, replace, swap case, count, strip, find, starts with, ends with, join. In this way, many methods are there. So I'll be discussing the other methods in the next class, that is tomorrow. But tomorrow, the link is going to change. You're supposed to get enrolled for getting the new link. For getting the new link, you're supposed to get enrolled, right? So you can see in the chart, the payment details, the process, the demo. If anyone missed the previous session, you can see and watch it in the demo video links are given. And uh, the course content details are given whenever okay you can see that for structure whenever you do the payment don't forget to share the screenshot of your payment to that mail id that is provided then only they'll forward you the link right even though if you're enrolled if you're not forwarding that screenshot they won't forward you that 
So, and you can go to the course content in brief, in depth, we will be discussing, right? So, one second. One second. Mm. Check this. Python, right? Python. Yes, as these are the demo sessions, that's why the class started and because students are joining, right? See, actually, the timing of this class, uh, one second, Raju. Right? So let me make it clear about the timings of this batch. As these are demo sessions, that's why. We are taking first 10 minutes for the students to join, right? But regular session starts in time. And that too, your timing of this batch for the first one week, it will be at 8 o'clock. Later, after one week, the timing of that batch will be 7 a.m. starts at 7 a.m., right? Up to the end of the course. 7 a.m. starts up to the end of the course. Yes. So Python code in advanced, like 70 hours will be spending nearly six. So this 6,000 is the course fee for it. UI technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap. That is what going to be discussed. People who go for Python full stack, this part Python core and advanced. People who go for full stack, these are the things going to be discussed. <coughs> Django framework, the 15 to 20 applications creations, Flask framework, MySQL, MySQL database and projects. And this, uh, apart from Django, Django framework for this batch, I'm also going to discuss one more framework called Flask framework freely, right? My secret project from topics uh, two to six, 70 hours it takes, 7,000 is the course fee. Python, 70 hours, framework, 70 hours, totally 140 hours, around four months it takes. 6,000 plus 7,000, total 13,000. But if you're taking the entire package with a single payment, it's 12K. Timings, uh, this is the timings. What are the things you are going to get? Every session video, soft copy of the class notes, assignments and tasks, WhatsApp group, and 300 plus code examples, 20 plus applications, creations, and uh, interview questions. There's one more package, big data package. People, if you're interested for data engineering, right? I also deal with that uh, Hadoop, PySpark, Spark with Python, which has got great boom today. PySpark, Linux, Python. This Python core and advanced two months course will be included in this. You can attend the same batch Monday to Friday, but on Saturdays and Sundays, you'll have sessions on this. Two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday, you'll be having classes on this. 12 weekends, 12 weekends, what? For 15,000 is the course fee. You can attend Saturdays, Sundays, in the Monday to Friday, you can go with this. By the time, for the first one month, you'll be discussed with Hadoop. By the time Hadoop is going on, your Python is going to be. The time I start PySpark, you will be Python core gets completed, right? Yeah, any other queries, right? Anyone? Any other query? Yes. So get enrolled for getting the link. So tomorrow we'll tomorrow we'll be have the class at same at eight o'clock, but with different link. For the next um, three, four days, the class will be at eight o'clock. Later it will start at seven o'clock, right? Fine. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Uh, can you please share the contents of the course, like you know, uh, the details of the course before we, uh, we, I mean, you know, we proceed with the payment. Content you can see in the chart, right? In the Zoom chat, are you able to see? Oh, the... I mean, not not this one. I'm talking about the like you know the uh, Python core and the Python advanced. Like you know, what are the topics will be covered? The those details, are, those, like the those summary. Are, those are... No, no, no. In the in the Zoom chat, can you see they have provided some links, sir? Course content. Oh, okay. Course, oh, course, oh course, course. One second. I didn't check that. Full Python full stack course content. Python course content. Once you can have a look here, right? What I'm going to discuss in this. So here in Python basics, Python operations, operators in Python, Python IDs, 
Python flow controls, looping, strings, collections. Python oh yeah, I got it. Python tuples, Python sets, Python dictionaries, functions in Python, modules in Python, packages in Python, errors and exception, file handling, object-oriented programming concepts in brief, regular expressions, database connectivity, Python data and time, operating system model, advanced concepts, iterator, generator, closures, decorators, graphical programming, Excel workbook, data analytics, introduction to data science, Python Pandas model in brief, Python NumPy model in brief, and Python Matplotlib. 30 topics, right? In brief, we'll be discussing about it. Okay. Yes. And apart from, apart from that, full stack, right? People who go for full stack. There's that course content. Apart from that, you'll be given knowledge on this UI technologies, right? Yes. I see. Okay. Any other query, right? Anyone? Okay. So if I'm done with your, then I'll sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, right? So get enrolled for getting the link. From tomorrow onwards, you'll be getting the videos to your Google Drive. Tomorrow, you'll be added to the WhatsApp group will be created. You'll be added to the WhatsApp group. And from tomorrow onwards, you'll be getting the notes. Every alternate date, you will be receiving the notes, right? Yes. Fine. All the sessions will be interactive. At any point, if you get any query, you can unmute yourself directly. You can ask that query through voice, or you can type in chat. Chart box, right? Yes. Fine. So thank you all for your time. Thank you. Meet you tomorrow. Bye.